has been a hard two years. Dr. Henry Walk is taking us to the CDC's Emergency Operations Center. This is the nerve center, really, of the CDC response. Before the pandemic, it would have been packed. For now, many CDC employees are still working remotely. This is a measure of the impact of COVID-19. But in most of the country, things are shifting. Green means low community levels. Yellow is medium. Orange is high. We're seeing more green, more of the yellow. And, and that's hopefully, good news. Yeah, absolutely. Hopefully we'll see in the next in the next month or two that the majority of the country actually will be green. Just days after we visited, the map got greener. Trips like this to Missouri, this is a new thing. This is among my first. It's really been amazing. We met up with CDC director Dr. Rochelle Walensky as she visited a clinic in St. Louis. Here's the big question. Is it over? I don't know. Um, and that's, you know, the honest truth. Um, we certainly hope so. We certainly have a lot of immunity in the population. More and more people getting vaccinated, more and more people getting boosted. We have some immunity from prior infection. But uh, with certainty, we don't know. Are we nearing a new phase? I think we are in a new phase where we can start to getting back to doing many of the things that we have liked to do and where we have to remain vigilant. Dr. Walensky says it's time for most of us to put the masks away. I would say put your masks in a drawer, anticipate you may need them again, and hope that we don't. People are going to welcome that advice. <laughs> don't shred them. <laughs> Just as many kids are returning to classrooms without masks, some data suggests the vaccine for children is less effective now. Though the CDC recommends kids 5 to 11 get vaccinated, Florida's Surgeon General said today the state will officially recommend against the vaccine for healthy children. Should parents of 5 to 11-year-olds be concerned that the vaccine their kids got isn't good enough. I would say parents 5 to 11 should anticipate that their child may need a booster dose um, and get their kids vaccinated. If you were a betting person, Dr. Walensky, <laughs> would, you, would you think that we're likely to have more variants? Or is it just um, impossible to say? It is impossible to say um, I, we can decrease our chances by getting more and more people vaccinated. Just a year ago, the CDC had insufficient data and sequencing capabilities. Now it says it's ramped up genetic sequencing to help detect new variants. Does the CDC have enough tools now to recognize a new variant popping up in the U.S.? So we feel pretty confident in the level of... of detection, being able to detect a new variant. New hope as the nation enters a new chapter. Kate Snow, NBC News, Atlanta. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.